Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the control board on an oven that's not heating up. So this is my Frigidaire Gallery electric stove slash oven, and as you can see, the display screen is working, and the stove top is working as well. When I turn on one of the electric burners, it pretty much heats up right away but the oven is not working. When we set it to preheat, it pretty much doesn't heat up at all. So I have checked the breaker and tested the voltage and it's getting 240 volts. I have tested the bake element for continuity and the temperature sensor and everything is coming back fine. So I have it narrowed down to the control board that needs replaced. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I am not going to go into how to test all those things and how to diagnose this, but I will put a couple links to good videos about how to do that down in the description. But this video is just going to focus on how to replace the actual control board. So the first thing you need to do is to pull the stove away from the wall so that you can access the back panels and so you can get to the outlet so you can unplug it. Then go ahead and unplug your stove before you do anything else so you're sure there's no power going to it before you touch anything. So once you're sure there's no power going to this, what we need to do is take this top panel off to get where the control board is. This unit has screws that require a little square bit, but of course that's going to vary by brand. Now that we've got access to the control board, we can start unplugging the wires and taking the four screws out. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a picture of the control board with my cell phone so that we have a good image of where all the wires get plugged back into when we install the new control board. Some of these will have a tab underneath them that you need to push up on to remove it. And some will not. Now there's just four Phillips head screws holding this in. Make sure to not drop one of these down here or you're gonna have to take off the lower panel. And that's it, now you have your control board out. Now if you have ordered a new control board, it will not come with this overlay unless you pay for that in addition. So what you're going to want to do is take off this overlay which is just glued on. You can use a putty knife to help peel that up. Um, mine actually is going to come off a little easier because I've taken it off in the past to clean the connections to fix an error code. So you're going to want to keep that to put on your new control board. So if you haven't noticed yet, everything's expensive right now and control boards are no exception. So what I'm actually going to do is send this board off to get repaired. I found a website called circuitboardmedics.com and you can send them your old circuit boards to be repaired and they have a turnaround of one day. Uh, when they get it, they'll have it fixed and sent back out within one day. And it's cheaper than buying a new control board. So I put it in order and they emailed me a shipping label. And I'm just going to box this up and send it to them. Whenever I get it back repaired, we'll put it back in. So it's been a few days and we got the board back now from Circuit Board Medics and it's all repaired. And they actually gave me a call to give me a little report and they said that it had a blown relay and some cracked soldering. But it's all fixed up now. They tested everything and it's good to go. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So 
So here it is all fixed up and one thing they told me on the phone that I did not know is that if you're going to send this in to get repaired by circuit board medics you do not have to take the overlay off. Now if you're going to buy a new circuit board then you definitely want to take that off so you can use it on your new one but if you're sending it in to get repaired you can just leave that on there. So let's go ahead and put this back in. Then make sure the oven is unplugged and go ahead and bring up the picture you took of where all the wires go and go ahead and plug them back into the right places. Then we're going to go ahead and put the upper back panel back on. Then you can go ahead and plug your oven back in. And slide it back into place. All right, we got to put it back together, plugged in and slid back in place. Let's go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, the oven is heating up again. It wasn't doing this at all before, so we're back in business. So if this video helped you out, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.